Astronomers worldwide are perplexed. A gigantic object, hailing from the depths of interstellar space, is approaching our Sun, and no one can yet fully explain why. Named 3i slash Atlas, mass estimates required to explain its behavior suggest a colossal body, potentially exceeding 33 billion tons, traveling at over 200,000 kilometers per hour, crossing the solar system with a precision that defies chance. But what truly puzzles scientists is the route it has chosen. Unlike any other comet or cosmic visitor, 3i Atlas is not arriving at a random angle, it follows the exact same plane where all the planets orbit, as if it knows the way. An alignment so improbable it's likened to throwing a dart at a spinning globe, and hitting a single street in a specific city. And this is the frightening part, nothing coming from outside the solar system should be able to achieve this. Not by luck. Not by accident. Now, the clock is ticking. In a matter of days, this mysterious visitor will pass dangerously close to the sun, and precisely at that moment, Earth will be blinded. No telescope will be able to observe it. No satellite will be able to record what happens. For almost two weeks, the fate of this object, and perhaps the meaning of its origin, will remain hidden, behind the deadly glare of our star. Some researchers even wonder if, what exactly is 3i Atlas? A simple interstellar comet, or something whose path appears designed to slow down and enter our solar system on purpose. Time is running out. And when this visitor emerges from the other side of the sun, the universe may never be the same. But before we can understand what might happen in the coming days, we need to take a careful look at what makes 3i slash Atlas so different from everything we've ever seen. Imagine something traveling through deep space, coming from outside our solar system, and suddenly, you notice something odd, its trajectory isn't random. This object approaches us tilted by only 5 degrees relative to the ecliptic, almost perfectly aligned with the plane in which all the planets orbit the Sun. In cosmic terms, this is nearly impossible. To put it in perspective, it's like throwing a rock at a spinning globe blindfolded and hitting the exact street in a specific city. The odds are absurdly small, and yet, here it is, coming from outside, and following this almost planned path. If we compare it to previous interstellar visitors, such as Oumuamua and Borisov, the difference is striking. They arrived at steep, random, totally chaotic angles. This one, however, seems to integrate into the order of our solar system, raising the question of whether it's simply following a highly improbable natural orbit or, in the most speculative views, if it could somehow be engineered to go unnoticed, an idea discussed by some researchers exploring cosmic anomalies. Which leads us to a disturbing question, if the object's path seems so carefully aligned, what will happen when it approaches the Sun? What will it reveal about the nature of its origin, or about something we haven't even imagined yet? And while you think about that, remember, space is chaos, unpredictable, and wild, but this object follows an order that defies all known probabilities. Now, let's dive into something even more intriguing, the very physics behind this object's movement. There's a concept called the Oberth Effect, formulated in 1929, which shows that a spacecraft burns fuel near a massive body and gains much more thrust than by burning it far away. It's as if the universe provides a strategic extra push, multiplying the efficiency of the movement. And this is exactly where Atlas's trajectory becomes even more mysterious. Its path through the solar system is not just aligned, it provides the perfect geometry to take advantage of this effect. In other words, if someone wanted to slow down or even remain within the solar system, this would be the ideal path. But let's put numbers to it. For Atlas to truly be able to break and stay here, it would need to lose about 20 kilometers per second of velocity at perihelion, something practically impossible to happen due to known natural forces. Physics, as we understand it, makes this movement nearly unattainable. And here comes the suspense, if any precise and perfectly timed deceleration occurs, astronomers worldwide would notice immediately. It would raise profound questions about what forces could be influencing its motion. Now, the story gets even more unsettling. 
Between October 21st and early November, a phenomenon called solar conjunction will occur, and during this period, no telescope will be able to look at the region near the Sun. This includes everything from giants like Hubble to the brand new James Webb. It's not just space telescopes, ground-based observatories will also be blinded. Atlas will be at its perihelion, the point of maximum proximity to the Sun, and no one will be able to observe it directly. It's a true cosmic blackout. The irony is almost poetic, exactly when Atlas reaches the point of greatest mystery, the whole world will be blindfolded. This transforms a simple natural interval into a narrative charged with suspense. During this window, anything can happen, and no one would know. And now we arrive at a point that further defies logic. Analyses of its orbit suggest that Atlas does not exhibit the non-gravitational acceleration typical of a comet, which, if it were purely solid, would imply a colossal mass of 33 billion tons. But there's a problem. When it passed close to Mars, the gravitational perturbation that would be expected from such a massive body was not detected. This poses a challenge to our current physical models. For comparison, think of comet sighting spring, which caused measurable impacts due to its gravity when it passed near Mars. So, why didn't Atlas do the same? The discrepancy is intriguing and raises uncomfortable questions. There are a few possible explanations, Perhaps its brightness was overestimated, perhaps it's a hollow or extremely porous structure, or maybe something far more unusual, an artificial shell, an idea discussed by researchers from the independent Galileo project, who explore unusual interstellar phenomena. The resulting equation is unsettling, a bright, rapidly spinning body, with no detectable gravity from a massive object, and yet traversing space at extremely high velocity. A hollow structure, or something designed for a purpose we don't yet understand. Now, scientists observe something that looks familiar, a massive coma, about 180,000 kilometers across, releasing hydrogen cyanide and other volatiles. At first glance, Atlas behaves like a common comet, shedding gas and dust as it approaches the Sun. But the details begin to raise suspicions. The proportions and stability of these emissions are almost perfect, as if there was control behind them, a meticulous, planned release, though there's no evidence of control. It's the so-called, mask of nature, if someone wanted Atlas to appear natural, it would behave exactly like this. The tension between science and suspicion grows with every new observation. Everything fits the known models, perhaps a little too well. Every data point, every reading, seems to confirm what we expect to see, or to deceive us. Perihelion approaches, the point where the Sun's heat stresses any celestial body that gets too close. Comets are normally fragile, under this intensity, fragments scatter randomly through space. But Atlas, will it follow this natural pattern? Or could something unexpected happen, defying everything we know about interstellar bodies? There is an intriguing possibility. Researchers from the Galileo project are watching closely, ready to track any pattern that deviates from natural randomness, such as the object releasing small fragments or probes in a calculated manner. And what would indicate artificial action? Fragments that accelerate deliberately if confirmed, straight-line trajectories, or velocity changes that cannot be explained by gas escaping if ever detected. Every movement will be observed, and even the smallest detail could raise questions that challenge our understanding of physics and Atlas's origin. Imagine the observers looking up at the pre-dawn sky, with all telescopes and instruments ready, hoping to discover if there is order in the apparent chaos, or if the universe is merely playing with our curiosity. While all eyes are on Atlas, even Mars attempted to launch its own surveillance. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter probe tried to capture images of the object, but the data returned as indistinguishable noise. Analysts described what they received as likely static. Adding to this are delays and bottlenecks in data transmission, any processed information will only be made publicly available weeks after perihelion. Which means that, during the most critical moments, we will know nothing for sure. The idea is unsettling. 
what could be the most important moment of interstellar observation in decades may already be lost forever, invisible to our gaze. And so, the uncertainty remains, whatever happened, it happened without anyone being able to see. If Atlas were indeed captured or slowed down unnaturally, the impact would be enormous. Our understanding of planetary science, solar system dynamics, and even space defense policies would need to be revised. Even agencies like NASA and the Space Force have internal scenarios planned for extraordinary situations, though none of them are public. The mere possibility of an artificial interstellar object, following calculated trajectories, would change how humanity views cosmic intelligence. But science demands proof, not speculation. All answers depend on post-perihelion data, velocity variations, trajectory changes, fragments, and debris. Only a meticulous analysis of these records can reveal the truth about Atlas. In the end, Atlas reminds us of something essential. We explore the cosmos not just in search of answers, but to find better questions. Every observation, every piece of lost or incomplete data, confronts us with the limits of our own understanding. 3i Atlas represents not only the challenge of seeing through space but also the vastness of what we ignore. There is no proof of capture yet, nor confirmation of an artificial design, everything presented here are anomalies and hypotheses that continue to be studied and analyzed by scientists around the world. All that remains is the tension between science and wonder, between what we can measure and what we can only imagine. As we look up at the sky, we reflect on the infinity of mysteries that still surround us. And perhaps, in the apparent silence of the universe, there is more happening than our eyes can perceive. If you want to continue exploring the mysteries of the cosmos and discover more about the phenomena that challenge our understanding, subscribe to our channel and follow our upcoming videos.